Hey guys, it's Destiny, and I just got off work and got on Surrender at 20, and to see there was a new PvE update with a couple new things on it, along with a new Lee Sin skin, a new Trandomir skin, the new Irelia skin, and we also got the skin that's going to come with Echo as well. So I'm just going to go over all of these real fast. And really, this is just all of Echo's animations, things like this. There's a video here. And it's just all of his, or no, this is his voiceover. And then this is his champion select quote that was so much leaked. And then we finally got it in English. It's not how much time you have. It's how you use it. Okay, so that's his champion select quote. Then this is Sandstorm Echo. And he looks pretty cool. He has like a ponytail full. I don't know, I like him. He looks, like I said, again, I'm probably going to end up getting Echo. Because I really like his champion design. And I'm going to be playing him mid, <laughs> so I don't know if that's where he's supposed to go, but that's where I'm going to be trying to play him. So hopefully that works out. And we finally got his dance, his joke, a lot of his animations for his skin. And then we got this new Irelia skin that just came out. It's called Order of the Lotus, Order of the Lotus Irelia. This is what it looks like. That's what it looks like on all the way around. It looks nice. It's pink. It looks like a lotus flower, like the name. The blades look really cool. I like Frostblade better, but this is pretty cool as well. We also got this new Lee Sin skin called Knockout Lee Sin. And this must have to do something with the bell we saw a little bit ago with the new Lee Sin skin coming out. I believe that's probably how that bell is going to end up being used. And he looks pretty cool. Although I like how they have the blindfold over his eyes under the hat. It's really cool. I think it's kind of funny. And then we finally got a new Trendomir skin. It's called Nightmare Trendomir. And I don't know why this reminds me of the pyramid heads off of, um... Oh god, what are they off of? What are they off of? Pyramid heads. Um... Silent Hill. They're off Silent Hill. Yeah, these things. Yeah, You see, you see what I mean, right? Pyramid Head, and you got Nightmare Trendomir. They look pretty similar. I don't know, it reminds me of the Pyramid Heads quite a bit. And he looks pretty cool. I might end up getting him. I like Warring Kingdoms quite a bit as well, but this is pretty cool for a 750 skin. I'll give Rito that. They did a good job on it. And as of that, that's all the new skins and stuff. The only other things we got is the loading screens for Twisted Tree Line and the Crystal Scar. And then, let's see, Minnowsmiths. We got some new Poro files added to Summoner's Rift. Potential runes. Some sort of added around Baron. All those changes. Karma, nothing yet. Rise, they increased his power. And R, his duration is increased to 6 seconds at all ranks. And then the Abyssal Scepter. I don't know what that means. I don't think it's going to be working as a 513's update. Okay, so it's just being reworked right now, I believe. And these changes are highly tentative. And the Mandrake Ward is back again, so they're experimenting with it once again. And then Twisted Tree Line updates are in today's update as well, including health and damage to most of the 3v3 map jungle creeps. Viamal's HP, turret changes, death timer changes, XP curve. So just a lot of changes overall. But I guess the biggest things are these new skins that are coming out. And I'll try to play on the PvE with quite a few of these new skins. I'll get a game with regular Echo and Sandstorm Echo. Maybe play an Irelia game. I'm not that good with Irelia. See if I can play some Lee Sin. Again, I'm not good with Lee Sin. And Trendomir is really easy to play. You just kind of spin. So yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And this has been Destiny. Peace.